Do you want to know some of the pros and cons of living here in White Rock, BC? Well, stick around because in this video, I'm going to share with you six pros and six cons of living here in White Rock, BC. My name is Glenn Hopkins. I'm a local realtor. I've lived and worked here in White Rock for over 20 years, and I've helped many people buy and sell their homes here. I absolutely love White Rock, but the truth is there's some cons as well. So let's go ahead and get into this. And by the way, stick around to the end because at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a dirty little secret, a dirty little secret of living in White Rock. So let's look at pro number one of living in White Rock, BC. The beach and the promenade are probably what most people identify with White Rock and maybe the actual White Rock on the beach, of course. Now, the White Rock Beach, it is divided by East Beach and West Beach, which is separated by a rise in the shoreline that the locals here call the hump. The beach itself is eight kilometers of sandy beach. It goes on forever, it seems. And the really cool thing that you'll find are the tide pools when the tide is out. But first of all, when the tide is in, it's really cool because year round, water sports are happening all the time, including things like swimming, paddle boarding, kayaking, and windsurfing. So it's a real spectacle, especially if you're a photographer, it's neat to snap the photos of those uh, enthusiasts in the water. And of course, if you're the type of person that likes being in the water, like I said, there's all those things for you to do. Now, when the tide is out, the beach itself transforms into this magical place to explore all of the tide pools. Uh, and you can try your hand then in skimboarding. So there's all these little tide pools that you can skimboard along. You see all the kids doing it. They bring out their ramps sometimes and do stunts and what have you. It's a lot of fun. People also do kite flying. Uh, they build sand castles. They sit out there on their lawn chairs and just soak up the sun during the summer months. Now there are a few cons to the beach and the promenade. Number one is the cost of living. Anywhere where you're gonna live with a view of the ocean and the beach, of course it's gonna cost you a little bit more. And White Rock is no exception. The second thing is the train tracks. There are train tracks that go directly along the beach along Marine Drive. And on those train tracks, you guessed it, there are trains that come by and those trains are really, really loud because they blow their horn every time they come through. So if you're living right down close to the beach, you're for sure going to hear those train sounds and they come around uh, throughout the day and throughout the night. So if you're a light sleeper, it might not be for you. If you're further into town, you don't hear it so much, however. By the way, if you like this video and you want to learn more about White Rock and living in this area, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. That way, as I create new videos and publish them, you'll be notified and you can learn more about living in this amazing city. Now, the downside to the beach and the promenade is, well, because it's so popular and so many people are attracted to it, it gets a little bit busy with traffic and there is limited parking. As a result, you do have to pay for parking when you come down to the beach and it's not always that easy to find a parking spot. However, if you're a local and you actually live in White Rock proper, you can get your own parking pass from the city and it costs about 45 bucks. Now here's a little fun fact about the White Rock, which our beautiful town is named after. And as you might have guessed, or perhaps you wondered, the White Rock is actually painted white. Now I'm going to talk more about the White Rock Pier and the Promenade a little bit more in a second, but first, let's look at pro number two. Number two is the weather. The weather here in White Rock, we boast the mildest climate in all of Canada. It's amazing and it gets more sunshine than all other West Coast cities. But we get a lot of rain. In the off season, you need to prepare for a lot of rain. There's typically a constant drizzle happening all winter long. Now, for a lot of people, that can cause a little bit of that SAD syndrome, so you wanna be prepared for that. After a while, you get used to it, to be honest, and hey, you don't have to shovel it, so that's nice. And uh, the nice thing also is, because of all the rain, it's really green here year round. So if you go for a hike in the forest, you're gonna see green grass, green um, shrubbery all over the place. It's absolutely gorgeous, but you have to put up with the rain. Pro number three is it's close to the US border. 
which means cheap gas and some great shopping opportunities. Now, things are a little bit different right now because at the time of this recording, we're going through the COVID pandemic. And so the borders are currently shut down. But when they're open, it's really great to be able to zip across the line. You can get a Nexus Pass, so there's almost no lineup whatsoever. You can go right through, get gas, and save quite a bit of money. Now, I guess the downside to living so close to the border is we do occasionally get border jumpers. For the most part, they're harmless, there's no issue there, and almost always they're caught by the Border Patrol within minutes of crossing the line. Pro number four is the schools. We have really good schools here in White Rock. And if you're interested in getting into a, a French immersion program or an arts or other educational focus, White Rock may be the area for you because again, we do have a lot of great schools. Another pro is that there is a lot of arts and culture. So White Rock hosts yearly community events, things like the Tour to White Rock, which is a bicycle race that happens every year. And it's really fun, all the, the crowds gather and watch the cyclists race by. Now in a minute, I'm gonna tell you about White Rock's dirty little secret. But first, let's get back to looking at the promenade, the pier, and the shopping. White Rock boasts an oceanfront promenade that is second to none. It's perfect for year-round strolling, shopping, people watching, and lots of dining options as well. From award-winning fine dining to local favorites, cafes, bistros, there is literally something for everyone. There's a real community feel here in White Rock. The city by the sea, as it's called, is really more of a town. It's quiet, there's no highways, people are friendly, when you go for a walk, people actually smile and say hello. It's got that old town charm still. And the pier is the longest pier in all of Canada. It stretches 470 meters long. It is a major attraction here in White Rock. Year round, you'll see people walking up and down the pier. In the warmer months, kids are jumping off the pier, having a lot of fun, and you'll also find people crabbing at the end of the pier. Now, the final con about living in White Rock has got to be the traffic, especially along the promenade because there's so many people coming down to visit, to hang out at the beach and walk along the promenade and enjoy the restaurants and cafes. There is a lot of traffic. And like any beach area, you'll see a lot of people cruising up and down the street, blasting their music and having fun. Now, there's pros and cons to that, of course. The traffic slows you down, but it's kind of fun to have that beach vibe where people are zipping up and down Marine Drive. Okay, and finally, the dirty little secret about living in White Rock. If you're thinking about moving to White Rock, you need to understand that White Rock is pretty much everything south of 16th Avenue. And once you cross that line south of 16th Avenue, you're gonna start paying more in property taxes. So if you're thinking about moving to this area, you might also want to consider South Surrey, which is literally a block on the other side of 16th. It's another beautiful area, which I cover in another video here. But if you're thinking about that, just understand that the property taxes are more expensive in White Rock than they are in South Surrey. Again, my name's Glenn Hopkins. I'm a local realtor here in White Rock, BC. I've lived and worked here for over 20 years. And if you have any questions about moving to White Rock, please feel free to reach out, give me a call, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. By the way, if you like this video and you wanna learn more about White Rock and living in this area, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. That way, as I create new videos and publish them, you'll be notified and you can learn more about living in this amazing city.